I'm one person here who I feel like I'm in the minority here, but I sometimes have a little bit of a, you know, I have a little bit of a soft spot for Brendan sometimes. Like I feel a bit bad for him because I guess I came into it being a fan. So as much as he's a read act now, it still kind of pains me to see sometimes the things that he's going through, right? And I feel like there's probably nothing more painful nowadays, especially if you're somebody that you put all of your self-worth and all of your value in being friendly with Rogan. And essentially he made your career, right? Um, I think even Tom Dillon said it pretty openly on his recent podcast with Annie Lederman. He was like, yeah, Rogan basically gave me my career, right? I was a nobody before I went on Rogan and being on his platform sort of like blew me up and now I'm kind of this person I am now. So clearly Rogan is a legit king and queen maker. No one can deny that. And obviously Brendan is a good example of it because this guy is, you know, he's a bit of a mediocre comic. And if he didn't have that friendship with Rogan or that introduction to comedy with Callan, he'd probably be in a kickboxing gym somewhere holding pads. So clearly he owes a lot to him. But I think a lot of these guys, instead of, hold, you know, maybe giving him the props that he deserves, Rogan, for helping him out, I feel like a lot of their personality revolved around knowing Rogan also, which is a little bit lame. And it must be brutal when your fucking personality revolves around knowing Joe Rogan and then he kind of replaces you. And it's very obvious when he does because now you see Shane Gillis hanging around with Rogan a lot, Mark Norman and all those other people. And it's very evident if you kind of keep your eye on things that these type of guys have effectively replaced the Eddie Bravo, Brian Callen, Brendan Shaw type of circle of friends he hung around with. These are the new people. Even sometimes Ari doesn't hang around with Rogan as much. But this Shane Gillis, Mark Norman type of friendship is definitely something that he's kind of cultivated to sort of replace the Brendan and Brian's. And it must be so obvious when that's the case. You know, Brendan must know that this guy has definitely replaced him because he's big, he's a former athlete, um, you know, whatever else maybe, right? That kind of is where it stops. But he essentially has ticked that box. He's kind of filled in that quota of having a former athlete who's also huge and also is a comedian in his social circle. And Shane Gillis is definitely the guy now. And the thing about Shane is that he's, I don't know, 100, 1,000 times funnier than Brendan. So it's not even like he got into being Joe Rogan's friend from just sucking his ass. If anything, he had a few, you know, dicey, dicey appearances on GRE where he tried to joke around and be funny or tried to kind of play into the whole I got cancelled and taken off an SNL thing and Rogan didn't really give a fuck. You know, I think it took Rogan a long time to be Shane Gillis' friend because I felt like when Shane Gillis initially got kicked off for of SNL, I felt like Rogan would have had him on straight away, but he kind of didn't really speak about him or anything or invite him on the show for a while. So I think Rogan wasn't really sure about Shane Gillis for a while. But then over time, he actually decided to like him because guess what? He's a legit comic who actually doesn't mind taking the piss out of Rogan. I think Rogan's got that thing where because he's fucking super famous and super rich he probably doesn't have a lot of people around him who legitimately take the piss out of him and kind of have a laugh they always kind of are sucking his ass they're always trying to you know bre you know suck, suck up to him and shit so it's probably quite refreshing when he hangs out with these type of guys and they're legitimately just falling around and having a good time so he kind of warmed to them more so the more that they sort of ripped into him, the more they called him short, the more they kind of questioned his information, took the piss out of stuff he was interested in, said jokes that went over his head, the more he kind of liked them. And clearly now, Shane Gillis has solidified himself in that group as being Rogan's new kind of pet, hobby, toy guy guy, to the point where now he's giving him fucking stakes. And this is funny as well, because this feels like, this feels like, you know this is a what's the initiation process but this is sort of like the first step realizing you're joe rogan's friend when he takes you out for steak because it's something that he clearly does a lot people speak about it on other podcasts he invites people to steaks and he obviously gets people the food and stuff and the bills were on him and you can eat what you want but this is always the first step when you know you're rogan's friend getting a steak now if it's me and i'm going rogan and he's buying me a steak I'm getting the biggest thing I can get. I'm getting loads of sides. I'm getting dessert. I'm getting everything. But I think these guys get a bit shy because another man's paying for their meal, which is always a bit weird, isn't it? Like another man essentially feeding you <laughs> and holding you down. The shit is a bit odd. But if that's me, I'm legitimately getting everything on a menu. I'm fucking picking four sides, desserts. I'm going crazy with the fucking bottomless drinks, all alcohol. I'm taking, I'm having double or triple shots. Like I'm going in. 
I'm going fucking in. I'm not being shy. I'm not just ordering like a T-bone and, you know, just a couple of fries. I'm okay. Now nah, we're going fucking sizzler in that joint. We are ordering fucking everything because Rogan's <coughs> foot in the bill. But the the dinner looks pretty decent, I guess. Uh, there's another comedian here as well. Who is this guy? This guy's called Brian Moses. Yeah, Brian Moses, I think there. And then there's another person here too. No, another picture of a steak also. So, you know, clearly... Um, Shane Gillis and these guys have replaced Brendan and it must be a bit of a bummer like you must feel a little bit aggrieved when you're Brendan because you know these guys have definitely 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 replaced you so you know I guess it kind of is what it is in that regard and he kind of has to suck that up and there's another picture here also showing um Shane Gillis and a few people on a what is it what is it what's this called what because again I don't bet I don't know nothing about fucking gambling what is this is this billiards is this what is this is this poker what are they playing here someone told me in the chat this is poker right there's young jamie shane gillis and the two guys from busting with the boys rogan there in the background some hangers on and shit <laughs> people saying bakarak <laughs> is it actually bakarak <laughs> i don't know what it is i guess it's fucking um i guess it is um what do you call it i guess it is poker or blackjack a uh, blackjack people say okay blackjack chicken tendies yeah <laughs> And it's funny as well because Shane Gillis actually does drink fucking Bud Lights. It's not a meme. It's not a thing. He actually does drink Bud Lights. He looks really, really buzzed here also, which is funny. Um, young Jamie here and look, looking not so young, but still enjoying and having a good time. So that's pretty decent to see. Uh, and again, Brendan should be here really. And it's something that's always interested me. Brendan really should be here. Why isn't, he, why isn't Brendan friendlier with these two guys? I think they're both current footballers now, or one of them is, but, you know, they've been pro recently. Um, they're obviously very popular within their little niche. Um, they're part of Barstool Sports. He should be more friendly with these type of dudes, but for some reason, they seem to gravitate to comedians like Shane Gillis more than they do with Brendan Shaw, who's a former athlete. I wonder why that is. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> 